Forty-one How are you, sir? Doing well? Hello? What's up, dude? How are you, man? Doing good? You know what you're doing? Yeah. A little bit? Yeah, I made some shock shaft straightening flight. I do have a TQR radio. Or TQ radio with a TQ receiver. Gotcha. Actually, I don't think I have a TQI, I have a TQ. What's up, dude? How are you, sir? Getting all ready for Silver State? Yep. Same here. Yeah, I just put a new driveline in my car. So oh, really? Yeah, just breaking in the driveline. Oh, that's right. You're running, uh, you're not. What is that? It's a techno. <laughs> it's, a it's just a nitro buggy, and you just put the uh, Mugen mount on the nitro buggy. I'm, yeah. I'm just packing the night. Dylan, oh, yeah. you're going too, right? Yeah. Man, I'm so yep. excited, dude. I'm so excited. I'm so it's excited. Gonna <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Nick, how are you, sir? Good. How you been, man? Good? Hey, I'm good, man, yeah. How the car's feeling? Good. Feeling solid? Yeah, the truck's having good. It's a driver. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I'm learning, man. It's my third month here. I've been here every week. I you you made the A yet. at Send It Series, right? On Truggy, yes. Nice. How'd you yeah. do? How'd you end up? But it was only A, man. <laughs> <laughs> you don't got to tell anybody that, dude. You don't tell anybody that. Good seeing you, man. How are you, sir? What's going on? Huh? Learning curve. Learning curve? What's the learning curve? Remember that SCP you gave me? Yeah. Very nice. Oh man, you got it loaded up, dude. Heck yeah. This is actually the battery I used to run. <laughs> That's perfect. That's the servo I ran too. It's good, right? Learning curve. I'm relearning. <laughs> it's easier to drive though? Easier to drive, yes. <laughs> yes. It's, it's faster? Yes. You'll get it. That's awesome, though. It looks good, man. It looks really good. I'm glad it's going to good use, that's for sure. It's good seeing you, man. You racing tonight? Uh, I don't know. I'm working, so I'm going to kind of see what the demand is like, and if I can break away, I might. If not, I'll just stay in here and work. I'm not racing. You're not going to race? No, I'm just prepping for Silver State, getting uh, packing, getting okay. stuff ready. I got you. Dang it. My servos didn't sell. My name is Mark Santa Maria, Beautiful. and I am an RC racer. I've been racing for about 14 years, 15 years. I've been in the RC hobby for a very, very long time, a lot longer than that, probably two or three years longer than that. I used to travel all over and race competitively, uh, but just like any other professional sport, in order to be a professional at RC racing, you have to spend a lot of time at the track, practicing, refining your craft, and that's not what I have time to do anymore. I found my niche as a YouTuber. So now I'm an RC influencer. I do a lot of RC videos online. So now when I go to these races, I really just focus on having a good time, enjoying RC for what it is, which is just hanging out with your friends and making memories and doing a little racing. What up, dog? Hey, what's going on, man? How you been, man? Uh, you know, living. You getting ready? Yeah, yeah. race program tonight, per usual. We're partying right. Tuesday night when I get there. Oh, without it. I'll you, be there no, Tuesday morning, son. So we're, we're going out. Like, as soon as I get there, we're dropping off. We're going to Fremont. You coming Tuesday with? Tuesday morning. So you're coming with? You want to come with? Me, Tyler Noon, Sitting Barry. On, I'm G, waiting on All right, I'll bro. call you as soon as I get there. Oh, man, it's going to be freaking awesome, Let's dude. Let's go. <laughs> Heck yeah. Let's go. Take care, man. So typically I travel with Two, two cars, my Truggy and my E-Buggy. And I have one bag that's designated for spare parts and like spare electronics, things like that. And then one bag that's dedicated to just carrying my cars. Uh, there's a 50 pound limit on these bags whenever you travel with them. So you really gotta be really methodical on how you put things in there. Oh uh, yeah, there's my E-Truggy. So I usually carry, I'll probably do better with that one, but 
e-buggy is a little bit smaller and a lot easier to maintain, I guess. Oh, the tires are a lot smaller too. But yeah, so right now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to consolidate. I'm trying to get a smaller subset of parts. I usually travel with a whole bunch of parts. We're not going to do that this race because I'm only running e-buggy. I already kind of separated some of my e-buggy parts from the rest of my stuff. And I have some spare electronics, spare screws, things like that. So I should have all the spares I need. And I should be able to fit it in one bag. Whether we go over on the weight, that's the real question. But that's kind of what I'm thinking through right now. Like what would happen out there that I might need. Um, and I don't want to take that walk of shame. That walk of shame being walking around asking people if they have stuff. I mean, I run a car that a lot of people run. So I could probably find it. But, you know, you never want to be that guy. Uh, in a perfect situation, I don't use any of this stuff. I just take it, which is really, really strange. But, yeah, we're going to try to consolidate down to one bag right now. So the race we're all getting ready for is called the Silver State Race, and it takes place in Las Vegas, Nevada. Obviously, it being Las Vegas, it's a huge draw. We're super stoked about it. Again, I'm probably more stoked about just partying and having a good time, but it's also a mega competitive race. Last year, it was the second race ever to break 1,000 entries. And I think it was the biggest RC race ever. It was absolutely insane. This year, it's shaping up to be even bigger than that. It seems like more people that I know are going. Um, and I would assume that it's probably going to be the same everywhere else. So it's a really, really fun race. It's a long race. It's a five-day race. So the reason why I don't do too many of this promoter's races is because five-day races are hard for me to, <laughs> are hard for me to swing. Uh, I still work a full-time job. I'm a dad. I'm a husband, I, I, I just can't get too many five day races off, but this is one that I make an exception for, strictly because it's, it's in Las Vegas. We gotta get these packages before Melissa gets home. She's gonna be pissed. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. Oh my God, we gotta hide these. Uh, but these are my new travel bags. This one's got like skulls on it. It's like Day of the Dead style. I think that's really cool. Yeah, oh God, this one is mega sick. Look at this one. I think they call this one like acid or something like that, or acid waves, that's what they call it. And no, I am not sponsored by OGO, but look at this one. That one's sick, it's got bananas, it's called Banana Ram. I love this color. Oh, this is my, my carry-on bag. It matches the acid waves. Oh God, that's so sweet. Yeah, you're probably thinking why anyone would need this many bags. The answer is no one would need this many bags. And this is me being me. That one's pretty sweet. I like the strap colors on this one. This one has like teal and purple. The RC racer stand in the OGO 9800 rig, that's what we put all our equipment in. It flies really, really well. I got more boxes here. There's a few racers that are in the sneakers. So this is a really, really cool one. This is called the Jordan 1 Lost and Found. It's kind of cool it comes it looks like it's all a beat up box and it comes with a receipt but this isn't my actual receipt uh, but it's the the og colorway jordan one oh man this is what they call the run the jewel shoe i am not going to wear this in vegas but it is a really cool sneaker i like these colors light blue and pink they were my old school colors but really cool sneak i'm really letting y'all in this time here my closet. I don't show anyone my closet, but I did want to show you my cool OGO collection. So uh, the, all these have a story. This is a really, really cool one. This is the Valentino Rossi, Valentino Rossi bag. Uh, this is a discontinued bag and it's licensed. Really, really cool. Um, this one I actually bought the first time I went to the Dirt Nitro Challenge. Um, this is a, it's kind of a simple colorway, but I bought it when I went to the first Nitro Challenge. So I basically went out there and I realized I was going to need more room coming back. Um, these are the first ones I ever bought, so those are really special to me. And I was I'm a big Red Bull fan in F1. These are the Red Bull Signature Series. Uh, this guy right here, I got at TNR from the guy who owns HRCR. He won it, and he didn't need it, and then he sold it to me. So 
I got that really cool colorway. And then I have two more back there in the corner. One is the black and white American flag OGO. And the other one is another one of these since these were limited. So I have all my sneakers up here. Um, yeah, and they're growing like every day. But all these, there's some really good ones up there. You guys will like this. This is what they call an eBay dunk. That's pretty sweet. It's a dunk, but you can kind of see like it's got, it's like see-through. It's called eBay dunk. Today, I'm going to pack my bags up or at least my RC bag up. I have some last minute things to do to this body. So I need to update or fix this body, put Velcro on it, make sure the holes are drilled out correctly and then pack this car up to get ready to, to ship out. This is the bag that my car should be going in. We're gonna weigh it to make sure it can get in there. There's not much in here. I mean, it, it kind of looks like a lot, but there's really not. Pin, I plan on pitting with Techno out there, so I got a brand new Techno pit mat. I typically take my cars apart when I travel, but Buggy is small enough where it doesn't really matter. The main thing is just take the wing off so that way it doesn't get damaged. But I also have to put some Velcro on my new body. Wow, beautiful new body. There's a reason why I'm running purple and teal. Aside from me liking it a lot, I got a secret pair of sneaks that match it. I still use body clips, but whenever you do Velcro, it doesn't move as much. And if the body clips do come off on a wreck or something, the body will still stay on. See, so even if, like, even if the, I lost the body, like, there's no body clips on here. If I lost the body, it wouldn't come off. But look at how clean. Oh, that looks so good. I have to drill the holes out a little bit more with a Dremel. Ah! Oh, I gotta change this nose piece. Totally forgot about that. Dang. Got a nice teal piece, matches my paint scheme. Oh man, it's the little things guys, gets me all excited. All right, so this buggy is pretty much ready to go. We're doing the final stages of getting it packed up. I mean, these cars are so durable. I mean, they go around the track, so I'm not too concerned about it getting beat up whenever it travels. And worst case scenario, something breaks and we repair it when we get there. So I'm just gonna wrap up the bodies. Just a little added protection here. Put it in there like so. And then I'm gonna get two sets of tires and just load it on the sides to keep it from getting crushed. There you go. That one's ready to get shipped in. So we're gonna put this in here. Oh, perfect. Oh, I think I left my electric screwdriver at Indy. I mean, this is gonna be kind of really close to 50 pounds already. This is like right at 50 pounds. Dang it, I forgot so many things at India. I knew I would do it too. My wife and I have a company called RC Box Club. It's essentially a subscription box for RC enthusiasts. Unfortunately, the time that we ship everything out falls on the weekend before we leave to Silver State. So we're running and gunning, trying to get everything out. But we absolutely love this business. XLs. We're missing a large? 5XL? Who ordered a 5XL? I didn't even know we offer 5XL. So we're looking for a large. The, the mystery of the missing large. This kind of looks like chaos, but it's really not. Uh, this, everything is actually a reason why it's sitting like this. So all these boxes are upside down because they're going to a certain shipping place. Um, so yeah, everything's stacked and organized the way it is for a reason. Melissa does a really good job of process stuff. So yeah, it's kind of crazy, but it's not. It's not really that crazy. Oh, this is a large, Melissa. Found it. <laughs> this is the one you were looking for? Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I'll show you guys what's in this box. Don't tell anyone though, it's a secret. It's supposed to be a surprise every month. All right guys, here is a sneak peek at the May box. So in all our boxes, we have kind of these write-ups that tell a story 
on why we put things in here. We don't just throw random things in here. We don't throw overstock items. We actually shop for these things and things that I would use. And I tell a whole story on why we put the things in there. Um, out here also it shows the values of everything in the box. So this is a $50 box, uh, but the total value is actually 104. This is actually a really, really good box. This month, the box is sponsored by a company called Cow RC. Um, so they got an exclusive shirt. This is an RC Box Club only shirt. This isn't a shirt anyone can buy. It has our RC Box Club logo on there. But that's a really, really nice shirt. And then it has some Cow RC products, which this is a cool exclusive product that I kind of designed and, and thought of. I wanted a small mat, a screw catcher mat, which this is magnetic. So your screws, when they fall on there, they don't fly off. Um, it has the RC Box Club logo up top. But what's cool about this mat is you can ride on it and with a dry erase marker and erase it, like just wipe it off, which is really, really cool because a lot of times at races, you'll have to write your races down, things like that, or part numbers that you need to order and you don't have anywhere to write it. Now you can write it on here and when you're done, just wipe it off. Comes with really, really nice stickers. Um, these are the Cow RC stickers. Love the green and black. I think that looks really, really cool. And then this month we have ball drivers, which these are just really, really useful tools if you need to get the screws at an angle. And then also the exclusive RC Box Club car stand. But check out these ball drivers. They actually say RC Box Club on them. They're really, really nice. They're supposed to be gold. Uh, it's kind of a, I wanted it to look kind of flashy, so that's why I went with the gold. And this matches the set that they got the first two months, so. Yeah, love it. I, I, we have, I mean, this is like a passion of ours. Like, we love doing this, and we have so much fun doing it, and it's really cool to be able to share the love and passion with everybody else, but. Each one of these boxes are packed with love, that's for sure.